The very first question I often get is, what should I buy to get the most out of Destiny? Destiny's approach to DLCs for players trying to catch up can be super confusing with a long list of potential DLC purchase options, but no real guidance on what you should buy. One thing to keep in mind is at the very beginning, whether you're New Light or you've bought other DLCs, at the very, very beginning, there is a lot of content you can play in Destiny 2 without buying DLCs. There's Strikes, there's Gambit, there's PvP, there's some raids and dungeons that you can try to sample content of Destiny 2. I would always recommend starting there first. Get your feet wet, figure out what you like to play. Once you're done with that, then let's talk about your DLC options. First off, the first thing is there's a Forsaken pack. This will give you access to some of the best exotics ever released in the game, including Izanagi's Burden, Anarchy, and Lamonarch, to name just a few. Also, you get access to the Last Witch Raid, which is a S-tier raid in the Shattered Throne, which is the first dungeon and a great dungeon for new players to start with. The downside is one of the best campaigns ever from this was vaulted, so the content is a bit more limited. However, it is fairly economical. Next comes Shadowkeep, which gives you some essential exotics in Divinity, Wither Horde, and Xenophage, as well as others. On the content side, you get Pit of Heresy, which is a great source for high stat armor and Garden of Salvation. On the downside, the campaign's pretty weak, and the raid can be hard for new players, and limited loot from that, and the dungeon is pretty tedious. It's not really my favorite. Beyond Light is next and gets you Stasis, which is a great darkness subclass tree that has some great build potential. With an exotic standpoint, there are some strong candidates, but not as many in other expansions, but you can get hits like Lament and Tico's Divination. The Raid Deepstone Crypt is very new player friendly, so if you're trying to dip your toe into raids, it's a good one to start with. The Path of Stasis can be a downside and it is very long especially if you want to get all three of your players. The 30th anniversary comes next, and it's more of a snack versus a DLC, but includes Galahorn and the Grasp by Avarice dungeon, which is a ton of fun, one of the best dungeons in the game. Witch Queen comes next, and that includes some strong ex exotics, including Parasite, Osteostriga, and Dead Messenger. The Vow Raid is very well done raid, and also a very complex raid, so it's one that you want to graduate into. And has a pair of dungeons including the Slog of Duality and the very fun Spire of Watcher, which has great looking armor. Finally, Lightfall just came out, and the jury's still out. So far, seems pretty good. Strand's a lot of fun. The rest of the year, you'll just have to wait to see what comes out. So what should you buy? Part of it depends on your budget. You get a ton of free content already, including Older Strikes, not tied to DLCs, Crucible Gambit, Holiday Events, Prophecy Dungeon, and Legacy Raids such as the Vault of Glass and King's Fall. So lots of potential content to cut your teeth on, but at some point you're going to want to try Strand and Stasis and some of the better exotics in the game. So obviously you can buy everything, but if you're unsure, if you want to dig into De Destiny that quickly, start with the Forsaken Pass. It's reasonably priced and gets you access to dungeons and raids and some of the best exotics in the game. You'll also expand with each DLC to get the strikes that are specific for that DLC. After that, you can get the 30th Anniversary Edition. That gives you access to Galahorn and Forerunner and a great dungeon in Grasp of Avarice. Now, this is only if you're unsure if you want to go deep. If you want to go deep immediately and try to get as much content as possible, then get the Legacy Edition. As of the recording of this video, that includes Shadowkeep, Beyond Light, and Witch Queen. This will give you access to a ton of raids and dungeons and some great exotics, as well as a number of deeper sets of strikes. You will also get a ton of story content, get access to Stasis, which is a really game-changing darkness subclass. And then obviously, there's Lifefall. Lifefall has a mediocre campaign, but a really new fun subclass in Strand. If you're interested in playing what is the meta right now, because sometimes if you're going to go to Crucible and things like that, you'll want the meta, this might be a good choice. But it also is going to be the price option for the money you're going to spend. It also gives you, potentially if you buy everything, it's going to give you access to all of the DLC seasonal content this year. So really, the choice for you is whether you want to start slow and not spend as much money or going quickly and see how far down the rabbit hole you can go.